after completing the studies on Himalayan rabbit and uh, Potentilla glandulosa plant, now we shall look into the human beings. In, in relation to humans, it is difficult to carry out the experiments as it is not allowed. So the only possibility is to study the twins. Twin studies is the only way to compare the influence of genes against the environment in humans. <clears throat> there are two types of twins. One is identical or monozygous and the other one is fraternal or dizygous. Let's understand how it, what, what exactly is that. See, a zygote is, a zygote is produced when an egg fuses with a sperm. In case of humans, zygote, diploid zygote is produced when the sperm and the egg fuses and the, this zygote develops into a fetus which will sub, subsequently develop into a child. Now sometimes what happens is this, this zygote undergoes cleavage. Cleavage is nothing but the repeated rapid cell division which results in the embryo then in the initial stages of cleavage this zygote few cells of the zygote separate out this may have two cells and this may have four cells and each each of these group of cells has the capacity to develop into a into two different fetus and uh, and embryo these two have the same genotype and the <coughs> these are called as identical twins this is called as identical twins because both the twins have the same genotype because they have the origin from the same zygote which is produced by the fusion of the of egg and the sperm now coming to this is identical twin or monozygous twin uh, twins then coming to identical or monozygous twins then coming to fraternal or dizygous twins this happens rarely in human beings when when generally a female <coughs> produces only one egg during one menstrual cycle that is during her in between her periods only one egg will be released and that gets fertilized when the sperms are available but very rarely a female will produce two eggs will release two eggs from the ovum or the ovary uh, sorry, uh, she will release uh, two eggs or ovum from the ovary and uh, there will be plenty of sperms available if the fertilize uh, during fertilization the availability of sperms is in plenty so both the eggs are fertilized by two different sperms and they result in the production of two different zygotes and they develop into twins which or which grow together, which develop together in the womb of the mother and these two have their origin from two different zygotes and from we have, which have two different genotypes then this is called as then this is called as fraternal or dizygotic twins so in humans we have these two different types of twins one is identical twins they have the common the same genotype and they have the origin from the same zygote whereas fraternal or dizygotic twins have the origin from two different zygotes and entirely they are they have different genotypes and it's almost like siblings that is brother 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 sister or sister sister and identical twins always belong to the same sex whereas non-identical or fraternal twins may belong to the same sex or may may not belong to the same sex okay then it's it can be easily identified by dna analysis now so the only way to understand the influence of interaction of between heredity and environment is study of human beings in humans to understand the interaction of heredity and environment is by qualitative comparison of traits between identical and fraternal twins. I think now you have understood what is identical twins and how they are produced and what is what are fraternal twins. Now, when members of a twin pair, when members of a twin pair, see we are taking into consideration identical twins on one side and fraternal twins or non-identical twins on the other side. And 
when members of a twin pair both show a particular trait in question see we are going to study the uh, incidence of diabetes mellitus or measles or tb in the twin twins both in among identical and non identical twins if both of them they show the particular trait in observation then it is called it is represented by positive plus and plus if both of both fail to show that particular trait in question or under observation there it is represented by minus and minus and uh, when both of them either show or do not show then it is called as concordance or concordant both are concordant we say then when out of the twins whether they may belong to identical or non identical twins when only one of the twins show the particular trait and the other one do not show then it is called as discordance or discordant and it is generally represented by 1 plus and 1 minus obviously identical twins are always concordant with respect to fully penetrant hereditary character characteristics whereas fraternal twins are sometimes discordant with respect to such characteristics okay if the if the variation in a trait if the variation in a trait is due entirely due to environment then the frequency of concordance or discordance should be same both among identical and non identical twins the proportion of twins okay we i think in this table you can see the trait which is studied under uh, which is which is observed was measles incidence of measles among identical twins and non identical twins and tb and also diabetes mellitus i think when we compare the proportion of twins concordant with respect to tb is significantly greater among identical twins than among the fraternal twins indicating that there is genetic predisposition to this disease that means the carriers of some genotypes are more likely to get this infection than others then i think you can compare this with the measles in measles the frequency of concordance is high both in identical twins and also in the fraternal twins indicating that it is not influenced by the genotype of the twins and probably it is the environment or the infectious agents which are resp solely responsible for the infection and in relation to diabetes mellitus i think i leave that option to you you try to find out whether there is any genetic predisposition in the infiltration of or in the appearance of diabetes mellitus by comparing the incidence of concordance or discordance among identical and non identical twins okay you try to find out that okay thank you you can refer uh, for this topic you you need to refer principles of genetics by edmund sinnott don and dobsonski book that's the only book which gives very nice explanation and then uh, okay i thank you thank you students